You're here today working on our nutshell pram. We're getting ready to put on the uh, shear planks. Shear being the uh, highest plank on the boat when it's upright. And we're going to use this Thixo Pro. It's a thickened epoxy. And the way this system works, there's two tubes. One's a has a hardener and one has a thickened resin. It is not mixed yet. And the way this system works and similar systems is you attach this little mixing tube and you can see all the little channels in there when you squeeze the handle on this high thrust caulk gun it forces the resin and the hardener through the mixing tube out the tip and off you go which as i am talking i'm realizing i probably would have cut the uh, the tip off one or two notches back just so the resin will come out easier but we'll see how it goes so what I want to demonstrate basically with this video is if I can do it one handed is how the product comes through the tube. I'm squeezing the handle with uh, one thumb and two fingers, which is the beauty of this high thrust caulk gun as compared to a regular caulk gun you might buy at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's they're just kind of a seven to one so the products all the way down to the end of the tube now move it over here to the area it's going to go on to in case some comes out comes out the tube and there it is going down onto the workpiece so we'll just go down the uh, workpiece like that it's going to be along this edge and for the bow and the stern transoms then we're going to put the product on and we're going to take a little paint stick and just make it flat and make sure it covers all the area we want. Any spots where it's kind of going off where we don't want it, we'll just take a paper towel and uh, wipe that clean. And you see how the product continues to come out because I, even though I'm not squeezing the handle, what you can do for that is hit the little release latch on the back of the gun, which is this little silver lever right here and that takes the uh, pressure off so you don't have that so you don't leave the tube uh, laying over your plans or something else important and uh, so that takes care of that and then some other notes are about this is once we're done today we're just going to leave this mixing tube on here you could take it off and put back on the shipping cap and store the product that way but we found that we can leave this tube on and then when we're ready to use it again, like we used this tube uh, two days ago, we'll just take off the old tube, screws off, put on a clean tube and off we go. So meanwhile, the product that's in the tube that's mixed will, will harden up. So you won't be able to use that tube again uh, a few days later. You might be able to use it depending on your temperature you know, 20 minutes later or sometimes longer if it's cooler. But that's how, uh, this is how we like to store it. It's pretty easy to do it that way. We'll switch from talking about Thixo or any other type of thickened epoxy product that comes already in uh, cartridge components ready to go. To marking these planks, we dry fit this plank and we put it on the boat once we had it on we put one screw in the stern and held it in place and we came up to the bow. Made a little pencil line and my marks are to let me know that this is where I could get my pencil. And so on this side is where the bow transom is gonna be. So that's where I wanna put my epoxy today and then come up and go down this. When the boat's upright, this would be the lower edge, but as we build it to the top edge, you can see, oh, there's a little mark I made so that it, as it gets taken off the boat, carried around, flipped around, dropped, etc., then you're like going, uh-oh, which, uh, was, it, was it this side or was it this side? And I've done that once. I put it on the wrong side. Yeah, when I messed that up, I just came back with a putty knife and scraped it off and troweled it on the other side. So we're making a little mark there. And so we've got our bow marked. We did the same on the stern transom. And so what I'm talking about is when we laid this plank over, it's a little extra length 
So I just came in behind it with the pencil, drew the line, and uh, made a little reference mark so I know where to put on this epoxy. And I'll just put on a kind of a thin bead, kind of after doing enough of these planks, you'll get an idea what size bead you need, not too small, not too large, get the Goldilocks size bead so that when you spread it out, you get enough epoxy, epoxy that you see some squeeze out when you clamp everything together, but not too much. With the uh, other end of the equation being, if you don't have enough and you don't see any squeeze out, then you didn't put enough epoxy in there. And so you probably want to come along with your uh, caulk, with your caulk gun and squirt a little bit more in there so that you know you don't have a dry spot there. So we gluing tips the way we do it is we'll put a thin bead on the plank and then we'll also put another thin bead along here on these pebbles. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this camera down in just a second and we're going to head on to put on this uh, shear plank. Let's see, flipping it upside down and we're bringing this port side and uh, off we go. And we've already, when we dry fit it, when you made your molds and you made your midships frame and you found your transom, you do have the little marks, reference marks of where your shear is going to be. You want to have the top of the plank either at or maybe a little bit above that line. Just look at where the bottom plank's resting and you're happy with that. Because later steps down the road after you attach the gunnel, the shear plank will sit a little bit proud when, when you attach your gunnel and you come back along with a uh, hand plane and get everything smoothed down. Make sure you got a fair curve all the way around. So off we go for putting thick sew onto the shear plank port side, the nutshell print.